king of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties melted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. Before it all began, we lived a peaceful life. My father was a blacksmith, and I would one day take over his trade. Unfortunately, the town where we lived was where the king's silver was mined. And that was exactly what Sigismund was after. That, and to show what would happen to anyone who dared to oppose him. That day I lost everything. Family, home, honor. The time has come to take it all back. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are looking at Kingdom Come Deliverance. And we're just going to jump right into it without further ado. Uh, this is obviously a work in progress. It is in the beta access that I'm playing right now. And I haven't played it since uh, the most recent update. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, squire, jack of all trades, diplomat. Um, I've always been a talker in like uh, games. I always like put up charisma the most because I like After to be able to. Oh. King, chaos and turmoil ruled the land, and our province was no exception. We were overrun by bandits and marauders, and the roads were no longer safe. The most terrible massacre happened at the stud farm in Neuhof, which was raided and torched, and all the horses slaughtered. My liege lord sent his men, led by Sir Robert of Talmberg, to track down the killers and to bring them to justice. I rode with them, but the investigation has been slow and difficult. Whenever I came across some trace of the bandits, someone erased it in the cruelest way imaginable. In the end, though, 
I got one step ahead of the enemy. I found out one of the bandits was still alive and hiding near Tomberg. Before I set out to track him down, I had to report to Sir Robert. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to play the, through the whole entire uh, uh, quest line right now. But I figure I'd give it a, a little bit of a whirl real quick here. Show off the game a little bit. Remember, it is a work in progress. Just FYI. Nothing is loading. There we go. It's in there. Alright, he's still not fully loaded. The characters aren't loading in all the way. Uh. Come on, render out. Master, in a real fight you'd be dead already. Sir. Ah, Henry. Carry on. Well, lad, have you made any progress with the investigation? There we go. I think I have at last. So you found someone who isn't gutted and nailed to a wall? It wasn't easy, sir, but I believe I have. It's I have information about one of the bandits who did it. He's even hiding in a village nearby. It's true the darkest shades of his mechanistic. Who is he? I only know that they call him Riki, and he's from here in Talmud. Riki. Reek. That's it. Reek. You wouldn't believe how much effort it took me to find that out. But I think it's enough to go on. Well, what if he's dead too? That guy has such big eyeballs. If he was, these fellows are not given to subtlety. Mm, true enough. We haven't found any more mutilated corpses. Well, get on with it then. And when you find him, come and see me. Most likely I'll be in the encampment by Merwyr. You can rely on me, sir. Farewell. And be careful, Henry. I know what that rabble did to you. But remember with whom you're dealing. Don't start any foolhardiness on your own. Understood? I'll try not to, sir. Okay. I have everything on like high settings, but I guess it just takes time to render it all in. Which is fine. It's fine. Um beautiful. Can't wait for this game to be done. Anyways, what I was saying before was, I don't know if I'm going to play, oh my, through the whole entire uh, beta here. So actually, I need to, oh no, <laughs> actually I'm trying to use the control. <laughs> B, why is B? B sprint. What the heck? Oh my god. Uh, da -da -da -da. Up his map. Awesome. So this is the map that we have cool cool got a nice bastard sword torch basic clothing pretty much bunch of not a lot pretty much level 12 plus 43 um Oh my god. This is why I don't think I'm going to be able to play through the whole thing cuz it's so in depth. We <sighs> have combat training after all. Let's go to the military camp. Okay. Where am I here? Um I don't know where anything is. I know that's me. This is the military encampment. I think that's the military encampment down there.
Alright, double tap B to sprint. Awesome. The button configuration is kind of funky, but I can get used to it pretty quick, so I'm not going to change it. Let's see here. Come around here. I think it's... Isn't this it over here? I didn't realize it was so close. Okay. Let's head over here. Let it load in just a lot. This should be the tavern, right? I'm just kind of enjoying the... Jesus Christ, mate. We're having some issues here. How do I dismount? No, no, no. Why? Cool. Call your horse again at any time pressing X. I mean, why? Hmm. Hi. Oh. Welcome to my shop. Nice to know, thank you. Riki. I'm looking for some fellow they call Riki. Jesus! Who wouldn't know Hinek? Hinek? <laughs> That's his real name. I doubt he likes his nickname much. No, I don't suppose he would. Where would I find this Hinek? Oh. Try his folks' house, if you have the nerves for it. The old tanner's a grouchy curmudgeon. Curmudgeon? Can what can you tell me about this Hinek? What can I tell you? No, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I don't know. But I heard he goes round with dubious Ah, lady, people. you have some holes in your shirt. What's the tanner like? Hinek's father? The less I see of him, the better. Kay. He's not exactly... Oh, I can't skip through it. Why do they call him Riki, anyway? Price smells. Why do you think? Because he's a tanner, of course. Yeah, he smells bad. Why don't Why people don't like, him? like him? Whatever the old tanner is like, a s uh, Where is Tanner? Where does the tanner live? Bury in the village, go downstream by the creek, and it's the last house on the left bank. Oh god, how am I supposed to remember all that? Shopping. Uh, my guy was naked, and that was kind of shocking to see. <laughs> that was really scary to see. Oh my god, we actually have a mission now. Um, Jesus Christ. I need to figure my buttons out. Oh, that's what that other mission was for. Yeah, 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 he's right here. Let's go. Uh, uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I did not mean to. My horse is kind of acting up a little bit here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, let's just pretend that never happened. I think we can jump it, boys. Not if we're getting, like, two frames a second. Um, it's over here somewhere. Come on, let's go. Uh, before we actually go, no, 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 we're fine, we're fine. This must be the tannery. Hello? Is anyone home? I'd like to, uh, talk to some people. Ah, there's someone. That must be him. Let me get off my horse. <coughs> Hello? Riki. I'm looking for a fellow they call Riki. Have you ever heard tell of him? Psh, why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Uh-huh. You wouldn't happen to know where he is. I don't know nothing. Don't you know at least where he usually goes? It's quite important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Okay. I am an envoy of Sir Radzig. Hinnick in trouble. Don't make me mad. Um. Do you at least... As far as I know, nobody here in the village... No one at all? No, no one. 
tanning and currying stinks, you know. He has nobody. Uh. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears in it. This time his neck is on the block. He got mixed up with some very unsavory people. I have to find him. Oh, God. All right. Hey, it he worked. was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like like he was in a hurry and you don't know where he went i've got an idea but i don't know where it is exactly i don't follow you hinek makes some money on the side from poaching mm -hmm. he boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods but he never told me where it is all right it's not much to go on but it's better than nothing cool cool poachers don't you have any clue where his hide i really don't know nothing about that I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning. He had money because he sold the stuff. I suppose he never kept it. Do you know who he... Eh, well, I don't really know. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him money. Of course, it could have... All right. I was just at the inn. 